Hello and welcome to this uh, video. In this one we're just going to have a bit of fun and all I'm going to do is show you the technique that I use when I'm combining two images in one. Very easy, very simple and I hope you enjoy it. So what I've done is I've selected a, a background one I downloaded from the internet and I'm going to make a spooky picture and I've picked the Texas Chainsaw Massacre picture of Leatherface himself so I need to select him by going to select and select all and then go over to edit and copy once we've done that we go back to the uh, background what we're going to use as our template for the photograph itself and all I'm going to do is go to edit and paste and as you can see it's just dropped that right in there no problems whatsoever go back to edit free transform and grabbing a corner we're going to move that down slightly just to try and keep it in proportion with the background click OK once you've positioned him you can still move him about um, whatever you feel is um, appropriate for your image that you're using for this one we'll leave it round about there now once we've done this we've got to get rid of um, the background of him so he blends in quite nicely with this which is very easy to do on the layer one which is there we're going to select the layer mask which is the square with a circle and as you can see the frame has opened up there um, making sure that that is framed off so we can work on this and we're going to choose the paintbrush with the normal mode selected with the opacity of 100% and the flow of 100%. Now that will vary from um, your images to mine. I'm just using it for that for the quickest speed for the tutorial. Making sure that your foreground colour is set to black because we're going to take away all of this that's down there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom in slightly so you can see it properly. And make sure I go back to my brush. I'm just going to... Um, make the brush size just slightly bigger and just gently painting over the background of that photo so it blends in quite nicely with the um, background image itself so basically I'm just going round the target and just painting all this out now a few things uh, to do with this is practice it quite a lot because it can be a little bit tricky and you have got to have a steady hand um, saying that I don't know how I've got a steady hand because um, I'm terrible <laughs> uh, anyway we, we, we're doing quite well at the moment for this video so I'm quite happy with that it's working out okay but as you can see there's still some fringing at the top and we need to get that a little bit better and tidy it up slightly a bit more and where the chainsaw is we're going to just go around there slightly take this orange fringing around now once we've done that if um, you've made a mistake and you want to bring some of it back just go back to the foreground colour and change it from black to white and what that will do is that will bring back into play the actual original bit of that template that you've put on and if I just go around him slightly just around the edges it just brings that back into play so that um, it doesn't look superimposed and it looks actually as though it's part of the uh, photograph itself I'm just going to go around this slightly as you can see you're still going to get a bit of orange fringing on there again from the thing so you just change it back to black and slightly go around it does take some time and I'm rushing it a little bit just for the video but if you have the time and the patience for it you can do a better job than what I'm doing on, on this for you for this video there we go I think that should do it I'm not going to go any more on that now once we've done that this is where the dodge and the burn tool comes in because we want the edges to blend in to the background itself so what I'm going to do is pick the burn tool and I'm going to select mid-tones and I've got the exposure on 3% and 
Now all I'm going to do is just gently by pressing the left mouse button going round the edges of the image that we've put on just to try and blend it in with the background by just doing that. Don't overdo this as well because um, you can um, darken the picture to such an extent that it's not going to look right and we're not going for that. I'm quite pleased with that. And now I'm just going to zoom out so you can see the end result. And that's it. Bit of fun. Scary picture. And we've superimposed one picture on there. This is a great way of uh, demonstrating if you want to put your own personal uh, portraits together on other images or backgrounds. And it works quite well, as you can see. To finalise it, I'm going to right click on the uh, background layers and go down to flatten image and that's it all done thanks for watching i hope you've enjoyed it and i'll see you again soon